Hey guys, has your phone ever shown you a message like this to annoy you before? That's because there's no room left in your phone. In one sentence, media is the culprit. Let's roll that intro and get right to the video. I already don't have so many viewers on my YouTube page after all the work that I put in. But I'm gonna go ahead and say this anyway. If you're on an iPhone, this video may not be helpful for you. There, I've said it. I'm not that YouTuber. But you can stay if you like to. If you're watching this on another screen than your phone, then just pull out your phone and let's do this together, all right? To find out why you don't have enough space, let's just go into the settings and look for storage. This layout is gonna look different for different phones. But most of my storage is on photos and videos. I know this because I take a lot of photos and videos. Oh, there, look at that. 22 gigs of other apps. Good to know. If I go back to my photos and videos, I can also see how much data I'm losing on each of these. Google has this app called Files. This is what it looks like. And this is what it feels like. That was actually an advertisement. This is what it looks like. And this is what it feels like. It's gonna analyze your phone for a bit and then it's gonna give you a list of where you're losing most of your data. This is the second time I'm recording this video and the last time when I was recording it, my phone was not recording the screen capture video. So you couldn't see this video right here. So most of the numbers then were big, like 300 MB and so on. And now the numbers are a little smaller. First of all, there's junk files, things that remained on your phone after you deleted an app and it had those system settings and so on. If you download the app again, then it will remember your settings. We don't need this, we don't care about that. So go ahead and clear it. That's done. Memes, <laughs> three and a half megabytes. This was such a big number back then. It finds out all those really small files, which are not very heavy, and it makes a list of those files over here. I'm sure, I don't need this. <laughs> I'll let you decide for yourself, but I don't need this at all. I can go ahead and delete all of this. Select all, delete, I don't care. Not this much of compassion for these memes. Next is duplicate files, things which are on your phone, things which are on your phone twice. Now you can boldly delete these, these because this by definition is a duplicate file. One copy already exists somewhere and this is like the second copy. You don't need two copies. Select all and delete, they are gone. Next one is backed up photos. Now this is, you gotta think about this. Free up two and a half gigs. You see, that's a lot of data. If you have auto backup on on your Google Photos, I made an entire video about this a long time ago. If you did this, it's gonna delete all the photos on your phone and all you're gonna have is the one on your internet. So if I go to my Google Photos and if I scroll down, this was a picture of my friend's doggy. <laughs> Um, and I don't have this on my phone anymore. It's from my 3G that I'm seeing this phone. It's not saved on my phone. And if I just scroll, these pictures are not on my phone anymore. It's all on the cloud. I don't have the best internet all the time, so I'm just gonna leave this here, 2.3 GB. Snapseed Media, this is pictures from Snapseed. It's 800 megabytes, I'll just leave that for now. Five and a half GB from WhatsApp Media. When I open this, I'll see all the files that were shared to me by, via WhatsApp. I really like some of the pictures that are shared with me on WhatsApp from by my family and by my friends. So I'm not gonna go ahead and delete all of these, but I can delete the really big ones. So if I hit menu and sort by, I'm gonna have size largest first. And when I look at this, I know what this video was about. You can zoom back in by pressing that button. I know I shared this on WhatsApp and I don't need to have 62 megabytes on my phone. Um, I d remember watching these videos, I don't need it. So. These videos, for example, I don't need any of these videos. So I can just select all of these guys and hit delete. I, but if I don't wanna get rid of everything, I can at least get rid of the really big ones and I can delete them from here. Unused apps, there were so many more apps when I was recording this video last week. So I'm just gonna select all the apps that I don't need. Uh, it's gonna ask me every time for every app. I'll just think it's I'm just selecting OK every time. There you go. Downloaded files. This is from my pimple video, remember? 
don't need that uh, large files. Now these are irrespective of where they are stored, the really large files are over here. If I scroll down, I can see 12 megabytes. That's a picture, wow. Oh, this is from Snapseed. I should make a copy of this on my computer and then delete the pictures over here. But it's at least good to know. One thing that's good about this app is it shows you all the amount of data that you freed up on your phone using the app. That's awesome. I've run this app twice so far. Last time when the screen was not recording and this time. You can just hit menu on top, that burger icon, and you can see how much of space was saved. Seven gigs of space was saved. That's nice. With a phone as big as this, 128 GB, I don't really face this problem. But it's good to just look at all the stuff that I don't require and just delete them knowing that I'll never need them on my phone anymore. So if you don't have space to download another app, then do with this manually or delete some really big apps for now. Then get this app and it will scan your phone for all of those junk files and residual files that you won't find by yourself. If nothing works, take a backup of your really important things, contacts, photos and messages and then format your phone, factory reset your phone and it'll be as good as new. That's it for this video guys, I hope that was helpful. I'll see you guys next, in a few days. You were thinking I'll say next week, didn't you? Because I always say, I'll see you guys next week. I'll see you guys in a couple of days because I like to be consistent. I didn't put up a video last week, so I'm putting up two videos this week. The next video is gonna be really small though. But thank you so much for tuning in today. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Bye-bye. Thank you.